welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Uju Ajayi. First, the headline. Tinubu may suspend import duties on food and drugs. Now, the news in full. The federal government may have set in motion a plan to suspend the payment of import duties on staple food items, drugs, and other essential items for an initial period of six months as a, as a measure to curb inflation. This was contained in an executive order expected to be issued by the president titled Inflation Reduction and Price Stability Fiscal Policy Measures Orders 2024. The document seen by our correspondent in, did not include the signature of the president but was supposed to be signed in April. The document also includes plans to waive levies on fertilizers, poultry field, flour and grains. The executive order will mandate the Ministry of Finance and Central Bank of Nigeria to devise a plan for offering low interest loans to the agriculture, pharmaceutical and manufacturing sectors. The import duty and other tariffs are to be suspended on the following for six months. Staple food items, raw materials, and other direct inputs used for manufacturing. Inputs for agricultural production including fertilizers, seedlings, and chemicals, pharmaceutical products, poultry fields, flour, and grains. The document read in part. The president is also likely to suspend the value-added tax on automotive gas oil staple food items such as noodles and pasta, raw material inputs for the manufacture of food items, electricity and public transportation, as well as agricultural inputs and produce and pharmaceutical products for the rest of the year. Suspension of specific taxes and levies for six months. The holder suspend various taxes and levies such as road, hourly tax and other transportation related charges, fees, on bicycles, trucks, skinos, wheelbarrows, and carts, business premises registration, taxes and levies on shops, kiosks, and markets, animal trade and produce sales tax. In its accelerated stabilization and advancement plan report, the government is considering the importation of paddy rice into the country as well as meat. The ASAP report recommended an executive order on the importation of paddy rice to miners to stem the growing tide of food inflation across the country. The document also recommends the following import duties and VAT, suspension on specified items including importation and paddlers by miners and import duty exchange rate spec. Meanwhile, the proposed plan by the federal government conflicts with earlier statements by Tinubu on food imports earlier this year. Tinubu at an event with state chairpersons of all the Progressive Congress said his administration will not allow the importation of food but rather turn the lack in the country into abundance. Fertilizers are being supplied to farmers as we speak. Agriculture and economic diversification provide the answers to our problems. We will not continue to import food. We know how to turn lack into abundance and the world will watch us do it again, he said. That will be all for the news update. Join us for more stories on all our channels flip tv flip tv plus my name is victor ojo ajayi